the moment. Unboxing our Beta Marine. Wow. That's a lot of red. <laughs> there she be. Beta Marine, 85 horsepower turbo. Brand new. Okay, so here's our boxes of parts. Probably engine mounts and such. What? 5 to 4. About 44? 5 to 4. Yeah, see? Nice new hydraulic transmission. Air intake. Turbo. Nice fuel injection system. There's our water valve. Hot exhaust, wet exhaust. And water circuit for the hot water tank, which we don't have anymore. And our new mounts for the alternator, for the heavy duty alternator right there, it's adjustable. Second pulley, that's for the second 100 amp alternator that's going to mount over here. Right here, a key and the primary will be over here where that one is now. That's a 24 volt stock option. Oil fill, coolant, heat exchanger. Okay. Okay, so 55 by 44. Okay, first box. We have four new engine mounts. Second box looks like spare oil filters. Filters, see? Okay. And spare belts. Perfecto. Okay, next box looks like, feels like, a spare starter. So yeah, I'm not going to unpack it, but that's the solenoid right there and the starter motor. So that is our spare starter. Next box is our extra alternator brackets. So these are the custom mounts and adjusters for the second alternator. Okay, that's good. And last box, this is our control cable. So that is our hookups for the control panel. And of course, the control panel itself. All right, well, there you have it. So thank you very much to Beta Marine. Looks like they were very efficient in packing up everything for us, all the spare parts, everything is perfect. Engine looks like it made it here in perfect condition, no damage, none that I can see right now anyway, so. Hopefully we're going to talk to William now and see if we can arrange to get this baby installed in Sophisticated Lady and we will be good to go and on to the next adventure. So thank you very much again, Beta Marine. Much appreciated, all your help. show you a video of one of my friends that did a job in the sailboat and they built a frame across the top and the frame would then reach down inside because these stairs all come off okay so we open this up so this opens up these come out so this comes off so the whole top of the engine from here is available, accessible. But the engine needs to come up and out, and then go up through here. Que el capitán dice que hay que quitar todo eso tal y montar arriba para sacar y cierto. What do you think? Okay, bien, igual. Hola, buenas, mucho gusto.
So we'll call this the start of our engine changing adventure. And all I can tell you is this is not the first mechanic we have interviewed, and he's not going to be the last. It is harder than you think to find somebody who actually understands the logistics of changing an engine on a sailboat in a tropical island in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. The Capitan Rick Mullen in this moment is with the only mechanic in the island. The island only has one mechanic uh, know about the indoor engines, uh, engines, German engines, engines of the sailboat. This is Walberto. new motor mounts so the new engine has different places where it mounts are different this way they're the same this way yeah so the rails the steel that goes in the boat to put the engine on are the same okay but this hole is farther no, no, away these are, no 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 these are uh, you, you understanding <laughs> don't, don't worry, if you go inside, if you go inside, yeah, you need to go out. If you go inside, you know, the most important thing for our job is the weather, okay? Because we need flat, calm weather in order to be able to do this at the port, because the port is a big commercial yeah. shipping dock, it's rough, and the waves come straight at the dock. And if we have wind and waves doing this against the boat and the dock, we're gonna have a big problem trying to, you know, lower in a big engine on a string mm -hmm. into the boat without damaging something. So our weather next week is perfect, but we have to do it starting Monday if we're gonna do it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it starts getting windy again. So that's, we have to take that out in order ah, to get the engine eh, out. Alberto, I don't think he esto can... se puede quitar. Esto mudo se puede quitar todo. Cámara. So this is something I've never done before, towing the dinghy with a Hobie cat? <laughs> I guess you're wondering why. Well, unfortunately, Madalena had a little incident with the dinghy the other night, involving full throttle and another dinghy at the dinghy dock that had its engine up in the air. Oops. As a result, we ended up with a 10 centimeter job, slash right in the side of the dinghy, right out of seam. Not good. This one, there was not much hope I was going to be able to fix it on my own with what we had on board. But luckily, one of our friends Alvaro knew a friend down in San Luis, just down the beach, that knows very well how to fix Hypalon boats. So we crossed our fingers and took the dinghy down to his location. Good morning. Just a little leak. Lucky for us, these guys really know their craft. They dried out the tube for 24 hours and then they patched it very solidly from the inside with a perfect piece of our matching hypalon put on on the outside tucked inside the rub rail so you can't even tell it's there unless you look really close. But overall, great job and thank you so much guys for getting us back in the water within 48 hours.
Sure. Claro. Okay. <laughs> oh, another Danny surprise. <laughs> the policia got a brand new boat. They want to take it out for a test ride. So Danny says, hey, you want to go? Why not? <laughs> Danny, you want to just pull the bow up to the back? Yes, I think. Because we don't have much experience. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh oh. Danny. Hey, my friend. How you doing, man? We gotta arrest the bad guys. <laughs> This is Mr. Steve, who just happens to be another famous music artist here in San Andres in Providencia. So of course Danny has something going on today that he never tells me about, but he is recording a music video for Mr. Steve. And part of the video is going to be right here on Heinz Key. Cool. I'm gonna play a few seconds of the video for you guys here because it includes some really cool scenes from San Andres and Providencia. The island you might remember was destroyed by the hurricane a couple years ago. For those of you that might like to see the whole video, I'll put a link in the description to the video on Danny's channel. Hey Canalices lo que te voy a decir Llevo tiempo deseando que tú seas para mí Ay, yo sé que tal vez para ti Soy un hombre mayor pero yo tengo swing Pide si quieres pedir Verás todo lo que un caballero hace por una mujer Tengo flow, tengo swing Baby you could be my queen Te hablo inglés pues soy de San Andrés Ven y conoce mi verás que soy bien nice Bailamos pegadito y suavecito esta canción Olvidémonos del celular Y déjame mostrarte cómo bailaba en mis tiempos Y cachete con cachete y pechito con pechito Y la pasamos bien, yeah. Y cachete con cachete y pechito con pechito Y la pasamos bien, yeah. Y cachete con cachete y pechito con pechito So again, find the link to the whole video in the text description if you'd like to see. For now, we're back to our day with just the song in the background. <laughs> okay, so I have to admit, here is where I started to lose a little confidence. <laughs> but after the third attempt, I politely asked the captain if he'd mind, well, if I'd take the wheel and bring her home. 
First day on the job. Thankfully, he accepted. Okay. Gracias, amigo. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Hasta luego. Gracias. Hasta luego. Chao, amigo. Richie. Oh, what? Hey, little buddy. <laughs> Hi. Mm. <laughs> What's that? What's that? What? Was fun? Ah, mm, good boy. <laughs> I don't know how to introduce it then. Start now. Hi. We are start oh. every the party now <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> yeah, we're at Love some friends' so boat. <laughs> it's a birthday party. <laughs> and a friend just brought out something oh, I haven't I seen I forever. I can't even imagine. What is this? What is that? Wow. Are you uh, gonna hand crank it? Wow. I'm yeah, charging it quite quickly. That's a record player, mate. Yeah. Wow, I remember what those are. Is that a 45? There's something. A 78, wow. Even. I'm surprised you're old enough to know what 78 is. <laughs> Depend, depends on how, how well do you charge it. Because what is that? Yeah. What is that? Are you kidding? Yeah. Look at that. Alright, everybody quiet. Dude, that is that amazing. Is some boaters <laughs> technique. What? It you works are, always. Como can <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, don't even worry. Don't even worry. Wow, you score 100 points with that one. What do you guys think? <laughs> amazing. What is that? Where did you? How long have you had that? Hickey, do you know the song right here? Well, I think there's something. Uh, I found it from, from flea market. But it's older than 20 years. Uh, it's made on, on the 30s, something. Oh, 1930s. 1930. 90 years old. A portable record player. And it's actually playing through a needle. And that's the speaker. That is amazing. <laughs> okay. MTV. You win. <laughs> what? We give up. I have nothing to top that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta recharge. No batteries in this baby. <laughs> it's human powered. One horse. One human power. <laughs> one horse. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. I don't think I've seen anything like that in my lifetime. Three pieces of antique. <laughs> <laughs>